Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 26 of Haven Cave Block. Uh, today, we make the creative tank and the upper lasting guilty mana pool. So how do we do it? Well, let's hop into this episode and find out. Okay, uh, after last episode, uh, I, I think it's time we make unlimited antimatter. And the big and ultimate question is, how does one make unlimited antimatter? Well, first off, it's a good question. We need a chemical crystallizer for the antimatter pellets. So, anti uh, chemical crystallizer which is this one. Um, we'll go over here where we already have these guys set up. And let's see here. I'm going to just put this right here and leave Okay, so let's after we get 3 in here put this in here just to put the remaining amount we need. I made more antimatter than we actually need for this. Um and what we're going to do is make a chemical tank, a creative chemical tank, which requires one, two, three, four, five, fifteen. So there we go. There we go. That that's enough antimatter for that. So let's grab uh, some speed and energy. Speed energy and mufflers and one of the best thing about these is you can right click them and they install automatically like that once we get the 15 antimatter pellets here the next thing we need to do is go over here to this lovely wall um, and we're going to need crafters, mechanical crafters, one stack of them, uh, to make this, did I get the chemical, the tank, the creative tank. Uh, requires it to be three, six, seven by nine. You guys should remember how we set these up. Okay, so take out any torches here. Okay, so got to make sure that we built this up. Three, one, two, three. Uh, I want to make sure we have enough space for this. All right. That should be more than enough. And since we already have rotational power in this area, let's grab that out. Adding it to this, 
be no problem. And this wall right here will, will be uh, how we make pretty much everything else. Okay. I messed up by not counting it. Okay, there we go. Uh, we now need a wrench. And how I'm going to do this is have all of them facing downwards. Except for that last row. And the reason why is it should be the fastest way of doing this. So it's going to take a few seconds for us to knock all of these facing downwards, except, like I said, the bottom row. And I'll show you how I want to do the bottom row here in just a second. Uh, we want them all going to the left here. Right? And we can place a barrel. And we also want a button. All right, so we'll place the barrel here and the button here. That is the initial setup for this. Next, uh, we need to grab some uh, Essence of Haven and it looks like saturating condensers and three turbine valves. Okay, so three turbine valves. And saturating condensers. Just get a stack of them. And uh, the last thing we need here is Uh, Essence of Haven and an Ultimate Research Tube. Essence of Haven and Ultimate Research Tube. Just one. All right. Now, we will place the saturating condensers all around the outside it is saturating condensers right yes yes okay uh, essence of haven we'll go there there We've got us a friend here. Fun watching them bounce like that. Crossbow. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, two up from that. One, two is this one right here. Is that that's where the ultimate research goes. And then we fill the rest of this with antimatter. And 
after you get the creative tank, I was like, why aren't you running? And then I remembered something. We need rotational power. Uh, shafts, that's what they're called. And populates. course, right where we wanted that button to be at. And the button can be here. And we'll see it starts making this insanely quick. Oh, and there we go. We've got a creative chemical tank. Now, there is nothing in this chemical tank, but what we could do is take this ultimate create uh, chemical tank and click it here, or click it here. Sorry, click it there, and it becomes full of antimatter and it's infinite amount. So now, with infinite antimatter. Uh, we could come back over to here and put it in here. And now we have truly unlimited antimatter uh, pellets. All right. Um, I'm trying to think here, guys. What shall we work on next? Um, I, th I think some of the creative items. I think one of the first uh, creative items, the next creative item I want to make is this one. The uh, Everla Everlasting Guilty Pool. And that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, by one, two, three, four, five. How, how many, um, uh, wrong room, wrong room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'd have to go over two more. Yeah, to make nine. Uh, so that's easy. We'll just grab some more crafters. Three, four, and five. Again, we need to wrench these the right way. And this is one of the best aspects of the crafters from Create. You can make it as big or as weird as you like. Um, doesn't matter. One, two, three. Uh, fabulous manipules, essence of Haven, and one of those ones. Uh, ultimate. Looks like we're going to have to make more of these ultimates. Um, fabulous manipules. Babu. All right. Place the fabulous manipules around the outside like so. 
the the uh, one thing goes here, and then essence of Haven goes into the rest of this. Now, if you guys did not see earlier in the series, you press this button. There we go. We now have the everlasting guilty pool. And this is really great. You get to your to this stage because then you can take this guy up, grab that spark, place that there, place that spark back on top of it, and put the recessive on this. And now if we grab two more sparks as well. Uh, and place them onto these guys. You'll see that these guys will get mana in them as well. So this will fill up all of our mana pools. Uh, it's simple and easy, and we should be able to do the one uh, one item that we need to create with it this we could have actually made that creative item a while back uh let's see here we're going over here to the creative end game and looking at the next creative item i want to make uh the creative motor Hmm. Creative generator. We could do that one. We're, we're pretty much at the end of this pack, folks. Um, I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. I would like to look at the creative storage disks here, uh, as well as like the creative fluid disks as well. Uh, I mean, it feels really good to be this far into this pack. Get some really interesting stuff. Uh, but uh, I think us getting the the everlasting guilty pool and the creative chemical tank we'll have to do with this episode i think when we come back next episode uh i want to make a the remaining creative items and call it uh there so if you like this episode, go right ahead, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, dislike it. Leave a comment down below why you disliked it. It really will help out me really will help me out to understand what you guys like or dislike about this pack or any game that I play. And until next time. Later, Gators.